Hey guys, Ken from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're going to go over exactly what you need to actually start screen printing. The very basic minimum items that you actually need. Before we get going, let's roll the intro. Alright guys, so the very basic items that you would need to start screen printing, one is going to be a press. You're going to need to buy a press and they make them in different uh, sizes. Um, one being a one color, one station, and then you also have ones that are one color, four stations. Um, and then they go bigger from there. Um, when we first started off, we started off with a one station and a four color. And this was a silver press made by Ryanette. Um, and you can also go pick up their latest presses over at screenprinting.com. Other than that, the way you can flash shirts, how we started was we used a uh, heat gun. And you just go over the area that you just screen printed um, until it was dry enough to actually print the next color or dry enough to take it over to the heat press. This is how we cured our shirts in the very beginning because we didn't have a conveyor dryer or another flat or you know a flash dryer. Um, once you save up enough money then you can get a flash dryer and use that to also um, cure your shirts as well. The, remember the ink has to get up to 325 degrees unless you're using a low cure ink um, and then you would have to read the instructions on that. So you're going to need your heat press, you're going to need a heat gun, and your screen press. Other than that, you're also going to need squeegees. Now they make different types. This is called an EG squeegee. Um, this is a 12 inch I do believe and you can push it or you can push and then you can also pull with this um, definitely helps with your wrist if you're doing long runs they also make metal squeegees um, I definitely recommend anything metal or the easy squeegee reason why is if your durometer of uh, your blade they come in um, 60 70 and 80 if I do believe correctly uh, but once this is not sharp and no longer uh, good you can unscrew it and then put a new one in and just you can buy rolls of these and then your last but not least is your wooden one these are going to be your cheapest ones um, once they're no longer good guess what gotta toss them so these are the different types of squeegees you can actually use for screen printing. The other things that you're going to need, um, some of the chemicals, you're going to definitely need a motion to coat your screens. Um, and I would recommend with uh, Chromalone Blue, that is just a water or uh, a plaster saw only type of um, emotion. Another thing you're also going to need is screen opener, fast tack. So the fast tack is 784, okay, and then the screen opener is 957, okay. Now these things, this is in case one of your designs um, does not um, is not coming out properly because ink got clogged in your screen. Wipe this, you know, spray this on, wipe it down a little bit, clear it up. This is what you need to actually tack down your shirts, so your shirts do not lift off the pellet when you're printing. Um, another thing that you can also get, I buy this by the gallon, but this is tech wash. Now tech wash is to clean the screen, you know, clean out the screen. Um, and now remember whatever paint you have left over, you can actually reuse. You just put it back in the tub. Okay. And in the very beginning, I didn't know this, but you don't have to clean, you know, say you have, you know, a hundred shirt order and when you're doing a one station, you're not going to get a hundred shirts done. Uh, it's going to take you all day. But say you don't get done. You don't have to clean the screen off and clean the paint off. You can actually leave the paint on here. Um, as you can see, um, we have some screens on here and the paint's still on there. Um, the only reason is because we are not finished with our job. We're waiting for one more garment. And uh, if you don't know what the, the garment is, go check out our vlog. But that's in route. Um, so these are the be basic uh, chemicals, you, you know, the chemicals you're actually going to be using. Um, now, if you need to um, print or uh, print out your film, for which is your design to burn the screen, 
Um, how we started off is we started off by um, dividing our design up into four parts, um, overlapping each other. And what we did was we went to FedEx or Kinko's and we printed eight and a half by 11 uh, translucent paper. And then we would overlap them, clear tape them, and then we would burn our screens. Okay, so that's how we burnt our screens um, was in that process. Um, also, you're gonna need a, um, an exposure unit. Now with our exposure unit, this is our exposure unit. You can buy this exposure, or build this exposure unit for um, probably less than 60 bucks, 70 bucks. This is a, a 50 watt LED black light. Um, and then just two by fours. Um, so you can actually get this done very well um, and for very cheap. Um, you know, you could get started definitely, probably say less than $700. You can look on Craigslist, offer up Facebook uh, Marketplace um, for most of your stuff as well. Um, I know you can get the Chinese screen presses on Amazon for about $200 and also um, that light for our exposure unit was $45. That's where I got it. Um, but also the most important thing is, is you need screens. Um, definitely, definitely get aluminum in the very beginning. Don't go get wooden ones because when you're washing out your design with wooden screens, it's wet. Wood will warp and tweak and then it just will, will not work. It, it just lasts, it doesn't last as long as an aluminum frame. Um, another thing is, is your mesh. Start off with the 160. That's the most adverse one that you can use to pretty much print everything. Um, and start off with plastic. So these are the very, very basics that you need. And what I'll do in the comments below, or in the uh, section below for description, we'll also put what you need so you can get it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Also subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when we upload a video. We're uploading two to three videos every week. So make sure you guys are smashing the thumbs up, subscribing and getting a notification bell so when you, we drop a new video, you guys can see it. If you guys have any questions about screen printing or wanna see something, definitely leave a comment. Let us know what you would like to see what you have a question on but also we have a vlog going and the vlog is um, journey of a screen printer or screen printing and the day-to-day -day struggles that we have with screen printing you know as well as i work full time i also do this and the the vlog is pretty much trying to show you guys what the average person will have to do to become a full-time screen printer before we actually becoming a full-time screen printer so Again, smash the thumbs up, be safe, and have fun.